Ever wonder why we go from our greens being great and then they are fully sanded and destroyed and they take about a month or so to recover well? I caught up with our superintendent Brett Thompson to try and run through what we do in renovation time and why we do it. G'day everyone, um, Scott Wagstaff, your general manager here at Carbra Golf Club, but I am here with someone who hasn't been in front of the camera for a while, our superintendent, Brett Thompson. Um, Brett, it's lovely to have you back here. Oh, thanks, Scott. There's been a huge, uh, huge cry out for uh, some more appearances, so we're gonna try and uh, get Brett in front of the camera a bit more. Um, but we're heading into our major renovation over the weekend that's coming, and um, the guys are already starting uh, on the putting green here and um, I think it's really important that our members understand what the hell goes on in a, on a renovation and if you're at another golf club this is probably also really relevant um, and I'm going to overlay some stuff so you can really see clearly what the guys are going to do but Brett just talk us through for this renovation what you've got planned. Oh, thanks Scott, thanks for the introduction and the welcome back, it's been a while guys I know that but anyway here we go. So. Really for renovations, it's for the benefit of the grass and the playing surface that we want to enhance so the members can get like a better feel and aesthetically it'll look a lot better. So really like through winter, like when the grass stops growing, it gets like all this like dead thatch that sits underneath there. And if you don't get rid of that thatch, it, it accumulates and it makes the greens really soft and a little bit thatchy. And on top of that, like it helps get rid of all that so you can control the disease that sometimes come there so as you can see behind us here we've already started the scarifying project on the g which we nicknamed for the putter there which the g i love the g so yeah it's so big that we've uh, nicknamed it the g yeah that's right so um so we've already very cut this twice with our one of our larger like fairway mowers it sort of like opens it up a little bit and allows us then to take like our greens mower our little smaller one then to really go in and get it like just dig in a bit deeper and allow it to pull a little bit more of that dead grass out like next off we just cut it off get it back down the free mill sort of will scalp out a few little areas and that which is fine after that we'll get a contractor in he comes in with his coring machine like i know some clubs have got enough staff and that machine and they do it in house but we just hire a guy to come in twice a year for us it's pretty simple we just decide what sort of you know, if you want a solid tine or if you want a hollow tine. So this time we're going with a hollow tine. For those that aren't really familiar with the, um, uh, the solid tine and the hollow tine, um, just talk them through the two differences then, why, why you would choose a hollow tine or a solid tine and what those two actually do. Yep, so we're going to go in with hollow tine at this point. Like, it'll pull out like a plug of sand, or like a little coil bit sort. So that just eliminates all that like black layer that we get in there which is like a build up from the effluent water which we use which you want to get rid of like because if that stays in the profile it, it just builds up and it makes it hard for the roots to access like the nutrients and stuff like that so we're going with that this time and maybe like coming out of summer sometimes we might just like punch some solid holes in just to open it up just so we can throw some amendments down there get a bit of air down there a bit of movement within inside the profile of the green which also it's like it's also the same sort of just a little slightly different there's not not overly a great deal you'll just see the hole will be a little bit smaller and it'll recover a lot faster whereas this time we'll probably be looking at six weeks and you get a little bit of rain we'll, we'll get a little bit faster recovery and we always hope for that yep so um all right so we've um we've either chosen a solid tine or a hollow, hollow tine and we've extracted cores in this case um so what do you do with all those cores that are now sitting on top of the green so you can do probably a couple of things you can either rub it back in there and use that because it's got like all the micro um, organisms in there to put it back in but this time we're, we're trying to blow it all the way off like we really just want to get rid of that and put fresh sand in there so like other clubs might just rub it back in because their water is probably a lot better and the profile is a lot cleaner and that, that's fine you can do either both ways it's yeah just for us it's like better that we get nice clean sand down there um so what happens then you've got okay so you've done your scarifying you've done your coring um and what are you what are you doing next yep so so once we've blown off all those cores we basically just get the top dresser out we've got like 
We've taken a soil test, we've worked out what we need, what amendments we need to put in there, which is this time's calcium, and obviously we're putting some super carbon in there, which will be like an organic that will hold a little bit of moisture in the ground for a little bit longer. So yeah, we'll get that out and we'll top dress it over the top, fill in all those core holes, and then we'll come back with a brush, we'll brush it all in, make sure it's filled in, and then we'll just keep repeating that process with a bit less, less sand every week until all those core holes are gone and the green surface is nice and covered and yeah, we just don't need to be um, putting any more sand on them and probably maybe, for no, say, they say six weeks, we should be good. All right, well, um, thanks for your time, mate. I know you're a busy man. Yeah. And um, it's nice to have you back in front of the camera. Hopefully um, our members and maybe um, other interested uh, golfers are out there got a little bit out of that um, so they got the golf course the greens are going to be pretty average for the next few weeks and they'll slowly um, recover over the the following few weeks and somewhere between that probably four to six week mark you'll uh, you'll see them back in pretty good nick and uh, leading into the summertime okay thanks a lot scott thanks Brett. Cheers, good to see you, mate. Good. get back on that mark yeah <laughs>、Yeah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.